Hi, this is another video in regards to a USB stick with XPMC throttle version 12.2 on it. And I'm just going to demonstrate the plug and play. So, what I'll do, I'll initially power on the Apple TV. First, I'll put the HDMI in, put the power cable in. Just to show you, this is 3.0.2 version and it already has an existing jailbreak on it which is by ATV Flash also it has version 11 Eden XBMC as you can see we're just waiting for it to boot up I'll just exit that by pressing menu just to get straight to the home screen and you usually get YouTube and the clips on here appearing then it's connected to the net so we'll just wait for that so I'll move across in general about its version is 3.0.2 so I'll come out of that I'll go into XPMC version 11 Eden XBMC there. Another way to check the next connected is when you get this message scrolling across on the bottom of your screen. So let's go to add ons, one channel. featured after the this is just to demonstrate it's working on your normal jailbreak with ATV flash I'll exit that that's your standby button Click that, you get this menu quick period. Press exit. This is to exit XPMC. And then we'll get our standard screen back up. So I'll click to the right, to the bottom, standby. That's gone on standby. So what I'll do now is Disconnect the power cable. Plug in the USB stick. Plug in the power cable. And this should now boot straight into XBMC throttle. Straight off the USB stick.
just a normal boot process. XBMC throttle version 12.2. So I'll do cl click right to the system, down to open elect, just check my connections. And that's my wireless, and it just says it's idling, which means it's not connected. So if I click right, and then again with my password, press connect. And then I'll just type my password in. Coming it for security reasons. And once you've typed your password in, you just click done. You get a message at the bottom saying network error. So that will refresh and that will become ready. So we are connected now. Back on to one channel, movies, featured, back to there, that's in progress. As you can see that's playing fine. So I'll exit that. I'll power off that, which is another version of standby on this. And then what I'll do now is read the power cable. Remove the USB stick, power cable back in, and as you can see it's booting up back into its normal operating systems of Apple, so it's not affected the hard drive or partitioned it. Press menu. So we're back to our normal standard screen how we were initially. Back to settings, power, nothing's changed, we're still on 3.0.2 and I'll go on to standby. And that's it.